the trip to Normandy was, you know, people said, did you have fun? I, I honestly say, I can't say fun. It, it was more of, it's just, wow, this, is, this really happened. That part of it was, you know, to me, almost spiritual, if that's kind of overdone, but you know what I mean. It was, it was very enlightening and humbling to, to be able to walk where those guys walked, where they fought, and inevitably, where some of them passed away. There's something romantic and black and white and good about that, that era. I am uh, portraying uh, a medic in the Army, and uh, my connection is my brother was a medic. What we want to do is, is, is recreate an environment that looks somewhat like it may have looked in the 40s um, during wartime, and you know everybody's got these wonderful vehicles that run. Well, these Jeeps are uncomfortable. The uniforms are uncomfortable. I mean, the, the, the dust, the dirt, the road, there's no air conditioning. And that's the whole idea is to, just for a second, imagine what it could have been like just for a second for those guys. We're losing more and more World War II veterans every day. So we just kind of want to keep the, the spirit of the 40s and World War II alive. And that's why we do this. We just want to uh, pay respect to all those that served before us in the greatest generation. Part historian, definitely a bigger part, tipping our hats to the men and women who served. Living history, and I have to admit, there's a part where I kind of feel like a kid <laughs> to dress up and play Army. You hear the rhythm,